What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. So to round off of the last time, where we had a pretty important battle, or series of battles, where our forces on the land have smashed the Macedonians in the field, which means we've got a very good opportunity to expand. So we've got Aldus Brutus, our faction leader, pushing towards uh, either Larissa or up towards uh, Thessalonica. We've got this army down up here in we're well, down here in the Thermon, which is probably going to be commanded by General. 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 Let's get uh, who do we want General. in who do we want in the in command? Probably Amulus, as he is our more veteran Sir. family member. He can wage war against Macedonian city to the south. But generally, things are going pretty well. Right, one thing I do want to change is if you go to the oh, where is it where is it family tree there we go if you click this button up here it brings up the traditional family tree so what I like to do is manually control my family members because I really like having a faction leader at the end of the game with the Brutus name or you know the relevant names for the other factions if you let the computer do its thing own thing it will usually some it will eventually it will take like one of your adopted sons and then the Brutus name is lost forever unless you manually change it back. You can really see how I mean, Brutus's kids have really got smashed. Fortunately he's still got Decius coming in. He can still do something um, in the future. But right now I want Vibius to uh, well Titus Brutus is going to become a new faction there. Sorry, Vibius. Especially at 43 and 52, you're probably not gonna be having too many kids. Let's hop. But so Titus is the guy I want, which is down here. Make him my new factionaire. Does mean Vibius has got the disinherited trait because he's been passed over. But I don't really care. Now let's go change the we'll check our building browsers. I'm pretty sure these three towns can't build anything because there's they don't have enough population. Apollonia is close, but not close enough. Thermon's building Town Watch ready for this army to leave because it is suffering from a lot of culture penalty problems. Tarantum is recruiting Principes, Croton is recruiting another unit of, or another navy, or another force of ships. Yes. Still got our diplomat down here acting like a spy. We've got our merchant heading north to yes. take control of the gold. We've got our spy who's going to stand here. Try and get visibility over traffic between Balazora and Thessalonica. So right now we've got good visibility, everything except behind this mountain range. But I can live with that. Yeah, this army I want to march and hit that Macedonian army that's down here. Push down, hit Larissa, then march north and secure Thessalonica. Because our Senate mission is to secure Athens, which is what we shall do. Um, but first let's hit end turn. To be honest, we can probably do it fairly quickly because we do have overwhelming forces. So we can go take Athens, we can then go take Corinth, then position ourselves to attack Sparta. Well, we have a northern army pushing up, I would like to fortify Suggestica, but I need, I need a territory to grow just a bit more. So, when they do grow, land clearances is order of the day. Let's get that farming going. Orders. So you can take command of the forces here. So if I take everyone except the town watch, how does that impact your order? Okay, it was very unhappy, but now it's only... No, they're content. So they can march east and get ready to lay siege to the city of Athens. They're going to continue recruiting town watch. Let's get our merchant onward up to the gold. Croton is unhappy, but first of all, Tarentum fairly happy. Pop growth's pretty good. They're making they're making a good amount of money. So generally, if they if happiness is good, pop growth is good, then I tend to default towards money. That's generally what I do. Money or military units. I'm not so bothered about military yet for Tarentum because we're about to capture some significant cities closer to the front so probably go for a forum 
no town growths. Thermon. Their health, their happiness has dropped down to 83%, and a good chunk of that will be um, culture problems, which I don't think I can fix with any of my current buildings. So I think I'm going to go for sewers, because they've probably got a bit of a problem with squalor. Yeah, minus 20, so we can, we can help fix that. Let's make sure we're recruiting useful units. So Apollonia. I don't really want Town Watch for you. I don't really I don't really want to recruit Town Watch for anything other than um, public order reasons. So I'm pretty much gonna keep chain recruiting Principes and ship them over to Apollonia. Because once this guy marches south to go hit Larissa, that will leave Apollonia and Salona a bit exposed, so I'd like to build up the garrison a bit. You built up that new navy. Let's pick up... To be honest, you can keep doing the naval investing. It's probably the good decision. Let's bring our faction leader down. So where's that? There it is. Let's go hit this Macedonian captain. And destroy them in the field. March south to go hit Larissa. Although the siege of Larissa may need to be lifted to march north in case they do uh, send troops to go hit some of our other cities. Those overconfident men are the army of Macedon. <laughs> they think themselves as good as us, but I think they are awaiting the funeral pyre. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no... Yeah, it's enough of that. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to put my infantry along to go try and take command of the the high the well the level ground over here, so we're not charging uphill. Got a good line on a good amount of skirmishes, which which to turn skirmish mode skirmish mode off. Let's put cluster our cavalry together. To remain strong. And then let's anchor because uh, they're probably going to be in these trees. I you know, uh, guess. Ooh, slightly off to one side. Okay. I want my infantry though. Up here. Actually, what I am going to do is hide foliage. Although it looks like they don't want, they don't like that plan. Okay, let's take this slow and steady, let's get rid of this. But it looks like it's quite interesting that if I have this open, like I'm not holding spacebar or anything, it's, it's showing all these immediate differences I suppose. But then if I get rid of this, I have to click spacebar to see if that to pop out. Yeah. Interesting. Well, looks like they're not going to really give us the option to... Whoa, not our cavalry. Bell tests, principles. Let's march our army. Up in good order. Increasing archers come down here at speed. Come on, deploy, deploy properly. Let's put my cavalry far out to see if we can lure their cavalry into moving. Ultimately, I'm not concerned about my infantry when it comes to fighting the hoplites. They've not got many of them. Their cavalry is pretty pants, so if they allow us to get up this hill, which it looks like they are going to do, let's run up our infantry, because it looks like our Cavalry's lured them in. Cretian archers 
Get them within peeler range. Okay, this is it now. Deploy the cavalry. We're getting hit quite significantly in our line. There we go. It's been a bit of tit for tat here. No, it call off the charge. Yeah. Their cavalry's pretty pants. Send two of my guys in. Against the general's unit. Who are you? You're light cavalry. Okay, charge my other cavalry in. You guys charge in. Finish off their cavalry. Cretian archers, where are you? You're all the way back here. Great God there we go. Praise. That's their general knocked out. Enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Let's get our cavalry away to keep focusing on their uh, keep focusing on their oh you ran out of javelins where's my Cretian archers you keep pouring fire into them I mean this phalanx pikeman unit has got to be a bit upset because they're just getting javelined Just touched their spike men and they went and they packed it in. You guys get in. Come on, Equites. Get in, get in, get in. I mean, these are phalanx spike men, so they'll stick around a bit longer, but. I mean, this has been a not a very good battle, I'll definitely say that. Then again, my first battles of the recording session are usually bad. Can you stop firing? Get my general out of there. Run, 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 run. And I've got all these units that I'm not using appropriately. Yeah, keep charging the pikemen. Yeah, we're going to continue. We need to make some headway for the bad decisions I've made. Because a lot of my infantry force got smashed. Yeah. Was not a good battle. Not a good battle at all. So it would likely mean this army has to fall back to uh, rep repair its strength. Or I could just keep shipping troops from Thermon. So if you continue to march south, let's load up his army, let's start combining some of our weaker units together. So they're not complete, so our armies aren't totally vulnerable. And then Thermon, instead of recruiting Town Watch, 
recruit some Hastati to march up to merge and combine your forces. This guy's on his way down to Athens. Everyone's building. Well, you guys. Let's get you guys. Let's get you guys into Thermon. Get my ships in port. Thermon can retrain my ships. The Principe is you can probably march towards Larissa. Tarantum still recruiting. Croton is still recruiting. Everyone's doing everything they can. So let's hit N10. Eh, yeah, we've already got trade with the Gauls, don't we? Yes, yeah, so let's go down to Spain. Ah, which straight past the Spanish army. Path blocked, not anymore. Enter. So we're certainly doing better than the Scipii, because they're still stuck on Sicily. They haven't been able to push out. Macedon, what do you offer? Let us now talk reasonably. Wrong. Until next time. I want to take Larissa and hope, te preferably Larissa and Thessalonica, and then I will contemplate peace. I want my front to be secure. Hello? What's that? Town expands. Hurrah! Let's get a governor's barracks built. Let's get our merchant over onto the gold. I still don't know if it's the best way to use them. This guy's earning 13 gold a turn. You guys march down to the city. Put the town under siege. Try and get my prince pays over there. Let's get these prince pays over to Apollonia and continue recruiting prince pays, chiefly because they're going to be defending um, a town with palisade walls. So infantry are a good shout off the bat there. Amulus, put the town to siege. Do we know what? Sat points are always a good idea. And let's get one siege tower. Actually, yeah, multiple sat points are good because they can't ever. Well, I was about to say concentrate to stop you, but they've not really got significant forces anyway. Okay, send my fleet to go and knock out the Macedonian fleet. There we go. So this fleet will take position over at Tarentum to continue the ferrying. This fleet get into Thermon, where they can retrain. Thermon can retrain as well. Tisa Starty can also march up towards Larissa. This Croton has built their, their large temple. Then they're going to build sewers to try and get rid of the squalor penalty, or at least reduce it. Jessica can't do anything. Pretty sure they're on low taxes anyway. Oh, they're on high tax rate. Okay, let's knock it down to low. To spur growth, probably. Same with Salona. You lose a bit of cash, but it's all about that pop growth. Because money's not going to be as much of a problem once we've captured these cities. Not that it's really a problem now. Thermon, recruiting Astarte, Apollonia. I mean, they can't do as much good stuff until they've finished building. You're still recruiting Principes. Let's... We could go to another Trireme and then that'll probably be it. Let's hit end turn. Got our diplomat over to the Spanish territory, which is good. Could probably do with starting to recruit some more advanced agents, like like assassins, really, if I can get them. We get the Scythian diplomats. It's quite a large Thracian formation there. Trade rights, map info, 
Mapping foes, the traditional. A most generous proposal. Offer. So these down here claim to be all Spanish, but let's have a look, just to see in case there are any Carthaginian territories. This guy can march up, then we can merge. We'll merge some units together. You could retrain, but to be honest, Larissa is going to be able to do quite a lot um, once we've captured it. It is a minor city, so it can it can already do a lot. It's just it's only because Macedon hasn't been upgrading it that it's not got as good facilities. Okay, Thermon. Just about on the happiness side again. It is that all these Greek buildings. You're about to. You're about to pop anyway, so I'm probably not going to get the communal farming yet. Probably get a market to get another merchant in, I think. But we have some assaults to make. Let's go and take Larissa and then go take Athens. Because that Athens force is. Yeah, they're going to go take. Once they take Athens, they're going to go hit uh, Corinth. Then they're going to position to hit Sparta, but you have to be careful because by now the Greeks have got quite good armies. Today is a good day to die, but better still to live. Yeah, you, you'll be alright. But the fun thing now is we've got buckets of. To be honest, we don't need all these maps. We don't need them, but I like to have them. Huh. Swap melee missile. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but... Drop the ram. So you can go in. You can go in. That means... Well, there we go. Three rams. Okay. Let's get our... Hoplites to go in alongside the Triarii. They're going to be the first wave. Archers of Crete, push up. The one militia hoplite unit, but it is mostly cavalry across the board. I might run my skirmishers up, just to uh, shower them with pikes. Oh, well, not pikes, peeler. Let's push up our other infantry. Archers of Crete can engage. Ready. Reloading. Ready. Straight. Some are going straight up. Some are attempting to uh, cross over. Oh, these Velites are going to love them. Make ready. Because <laughs> ultimately their cavalry is, is done for. Just keep marching up our hoplites. General's bodyguard is... It's actually General's bodyguard, so they might be a, something to be careful of. God, those militia hoplites are going down. 41 men remaining because they're being attacked by three javelins and a Cretan archer unit. Still trying, even though they're all the way over there. Well, they're coming back. I wonder if they'll make it. But yeah, once I get my Hoplo mercenaries and Triarii in there, they will have a torrid time. And I do love Triarii. What I love about this game is they kept the original voice models for these units and I know people might say you know that's cheap they're just saving money and you go good they were great in Rome why I loved it they don't need to be changed I'm more than happy to let my to let my um, 
uh, my javelins and my bows just shoot the bejesus out of these hoplites. Because they've got eight men left. Let's get my hoplites in. Might even be easier to, to press on and capture this place. Make them raise their spears. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Four, okay, yeah. Run there. Get their spears up while they make it into the into the town. And then drop them when they're actually in position to do something. Our start, you can just cover the rear. Because ultimately, they are going to have a torrid time. But what I want is to form just a nice line of Get annoying with pathfinding in this map. Run our triara, I think it's a very thin formation. Yeah. Triara just having a grand old time. So just keep pushing up my mercenary hoplites, keep pushing up some Hastati, but ultimately it's not entirely necessary. I do have buckets of my own cavalry. Which if it's if it's necessary, which I don't even know if it is. speed up time chiefly because right now I'm just marching my hoplites up they've turned side on which is nice Let's run my triari in to make sure they don't. Like, look, they are just. <laughs> they are f they, again. Now they've now they've got got broken out of phalanx. You deserve what you get, <laughs> pikemen. So let's get them out of the out of the lead element. Let's get our triari in there instead. Now let's try and try and engage them. See if they get their pikes out. Two cavalry units, so they've got two more units in the field. I mean, we're losing more men than I'd like, but there we go. Some of our pikemen have their pikes out, some have got swords. Let's get them to walk up to the front. So let's take these two units. Don't need to run. Speed up time. So you guys, I don't want them to push up too far. Because that will invite a charge.
See, when I'm doing, when you give them an order like this, just to right click through the town, then their pathfinding looks. They've done, you know, they've done good. I mean, my Hastati should. They did. <laughs> Chew up that. Infantry unit. But again, speed up time. Yes, you might do some damage to my pikemen at first. To my Hastati at first. But here come the spears. Ah, no. Don't do that. You can hit these nobody armies. Easy. No drama there. Okay, that's the general's bodyguard committed. Yeah, they're cutting through my... Okay, let's halt my Astarte here so they can hurl some peeler. Although it says they're doing pretty good. Now they broke the mercenary hoplites. Triari I aren't coping all too well with the combat. I mean, okay, you guys charge them as well. <laughs> Even though they're going to now run the wrong way. Probably run a couple of units of cavalry around the flank. Triari are oh, getting hammered. But they're going to start to see themselves surrounded. And we can afford to take more losses. I'd like you guys to hurl Pila but you guys seem determined to not do that and just slowly shuffle into the combat. Oh, please get them out. The Peter. Yes! We're also fighting in the centre, but I don't like their odds. Prince Pays are doing good work. Let's get my Hestates around the flank where Prince Pays are getting chewed up. I mean, I'm deliberately not really using a lot of my troops just because I don't really need to. So who's that? Because their Hestates are broken. Understandable. They're not very good infantry. So where is their general? There he is. There's your man. So you guys charge into the rear over there. Yeah, there we go. Got a couple of hoplites in here, but... Who are you? At least I started king back. Yeah, the general's bodyguard's doing well, but... Uh... Yeah, they're very tired, they're unhappy, they're taking suddenly lots of casualties. They've soaked up all their hit points. The gods have the heart 
There goes the general. General is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press. Is there the one man? There's one man left. This brave hoplite, but he is now is done for. Again, lost a, a whole bunch of men. Um, but this is the advantage of attacking some of these bigger cities: is that they do have the facilities to retrain your men quite quickly, as long as you have the capital. So Larissa is conquered. It's in slave. So it's, if it's a minor city, I don't really have a problem with it staying that. I don't have a problem with it not growing because minor cities are already pretty good. So it's just mass retrain. Could probably build a port for Larissa. Or I'd probably like to get a Legion barracks to be able to get recruitment of Principes on the mainland. And we've also got. This force and Ambulus Brutus, who is going to attack the city of Athens and then secure a uh, a Senate objective. So attacking cities with stone walls, they're a bit trickier because I generally have I end up committing one unit to just have their job to be to run around the entire perimeter of the city, capturing all the towers. Because it's so annoying, manoeuvring inside a city, getting the shot to bits. A fearsome Macedonian horde. Mark them well. For the children of Alexander are merciless, cruel, and hard-faced in victory. On this field stand one in four of our people's warriors. We are enough then to win great honor and do great service. This and more, I have no doubts that you will do. Hurrah. Okay, so I want to put my siege tower over here. Uh, my Velites can sap. They can. So let's put a unit of Prince Pays to go back. Actually, no. Hold on. Drop the tower. My Prince Pays can pick it up, and my unit of Astarte can begin to run around securing the perimeter. These Astarte form up here. These Astarte form up over here. Because it also wants some units to come in and start capturing the wall from this direction. All my cavalry stay where it is. Let them. More of them to kill. Looks like the wall is uncontested. I oh, know they do have some pelt tests. Our are now the walls. So I'm curious so where their the reinforcements are coming from. Hello. You're not coming at me, are you? We'll wheel my cavalry around. These light lances. Well, I think I might have to push in. We're going to take some casualties from being close to the walls, but there's not a lot we can do about that. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. Yeah, so we're taking losses, but all we need to do is get do enough damage to break their forces. The captain of the relieving armies have been destroyed. They are retreating through our men. So we can fall our cavalry back. They're deciding to not garrison the walls. So let's speed up time. Because this bit can take a bit of time. The Velites are... Oh good, yeah. They're routing. They're not alive. Aha! Pikemen. Let's let them run into range, and then we can just engulf them and destroy them in one go. But right now, I don't think the walls are destroyed until the entire unit's in the city. So it can take a bit of time. 
Okay, so where's my general? He's the one that can explicitly cannot do this. Let's also run my Astarte up there. Yes, deploy your pikes. I mean, these hoplites are pretty damn useless. Wavering. Broken immediately. Huh. Bit of a weird bug. There we go. The walls are coming down. The animation is better than the current game. They've at least... So I'm not entirely sure how realistic it is. But it makes sense, as far as, I'm un as far as my understanding is that the walls, these kind of walls were just two skins of bricks filled in with rubble and junk. So these Hastati are uh, getting smashed by the towers, but the aim is that once the, the Principes can wheel, to be honest, it doesn't matter which direction my Principes go. Well, I want some guys to wheel left to secure the gateway. And some to wheel right and capture these towers. There we go. So my principes can attempt to secure the gateway. Which will become ours. A little of these pell tests want to try and contest, which is good. Oh wow, a lot of our Valetes have got shot to pieces by this. It must be by Pell Tests. There we go, this is what I like. So my towers are now just picking away at their troops. Okay, my first Hastati have made it to the wall. Hello. What's this? There you go, it's all my Hastati. I'll follow them up with another unit of Hastati, but I want my Hastati to run and capture these towers. Leg it, fellas. Pelta should go down pretty easy. Oh. I guess the the uh, sapping never worked over there. So let's get my Astarte back. Oh damn, I uh, forgot about the pikes. Keep this cavalry in front of them to give them a bit of a target. Someone to aim at. I mean, look at that for pathfinding. There you go. Once the towers are ours, they fire inward. And that's what we want to see. Might be time to try and push some of my men into the breach. I mean, these guys are just you know, these guys are just peltists, so my principes shouldn't have a difficult time. It's just a question of getting them up through the. Uh... Actually, no, it's probably best not to do that. Don't expose my troops to unnecessary fire from the gate, like these guys. Instead of firing out, they fire in. 
and it means they have to it pushes their troops away from the wall for an amount of time okay let's speed up time I mean these guys are just peltests so you should okay let's get these Hastati over to also help yeah they're fighting to the death that means the gateway is ours which means if I run a Hastati unit up here I can run one through the gate and probably a cavalry unit to flank these hoplites and let's also get our velites in to try and quickly whip around the combat and secure this tower because what are they they're just militia hoplites they're not they're not great units go on you man you can huck huck some peeler So can my Velites, really? Let's get the Equites out of the way. So I need to run my Hastati in there so I can run my infantry up to the hoplites. You guys can try and run and secure the tower. Don't want my Ectes anywhere near that combat. Because then if my Velites can go secure that tower, like they really don't want to do, Instead, they're going to smash straight into these hoplites. Okay, let's bring my Hastati over this way. Let's try to ignore this passage, because that's just going to cause us problems. I'd like my Velites to catch the tower, though, even if it just means that they get less time. But there, there we go. Okay, now the tower is ours, which means they will fire on this hoplite unit both of these units will fire on the hoplites yeah there we go to be honest if we've got velites up there then we can just run and secure the, the tower these hastati can then advance with cavalry support Push the cavalry, some cavalry up. Actually, let's get our these have started to secure the other towers. Charge Mercutes into these light lancers. Valates are taking the towers that we need. Lots of cavalry coming up. Don't pursue. You guys are running, you can walk. So what I'd like is my cavalry to pour in. Actually, you guys run all the way over to this tower so that my cavalry can come around here through this channel here. So you guys might have to run to catch up. Velites can get off the walls now. Speed up time. It looks like one of their units was keen to continue the effort the militia broke before they made it into combat with my men who 
use this back here? Militia hoplites, secure the walls. Because then, there we go. We can get some really good damage from both, or from all of these towers engaging them. To the point where, if they form up to try and counter our cavalry we've got in the city. Cavalry are actually breaking before they get into range. Understandable that these hoplites are a bit upset. These Hastata units can continue to run to run these cavalry units over to a distant part of the square run some cavalry in to go hit those hoplites run a Hastati in to engage the hoplites run one Start a unit around that direction, run another unit around that direction. Get into combat with the Peltests, because they can do a surprising amount of damage. Bring the Equites around the flank. Wheel around combat. Great gods be Captain's been the enemy killed. Is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Yeah, those guys are routing. Just send my Hastati to chase them down. I think it's everyone against these uh, Pell Tests. Which are likely going to... Well, they will fight to the death because they're in the centre, central square. I said some Equites to go chase down those guys. Everyone just chase down these Pell Tests. There's only six of them left. There's one of them. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. You can't trust these Macedonian Macedonian generals. They are not up to snuff when it comes to securing your cities. Victory and glory! Victory! might enslave this last city then we're probably not going to have need to do that let's get shrine to Juno that reminds me over here Larissa let's destroy their shrine and let's build a shrine to Juno as well to take precedence over the barracks so Athens you can repair your stone wall you can begin retraining the army that conquered you and you can build a Roman mine. So how's that going to affect our income? <laughs> I'm going to go from 5,000 or 6,000 to 16,000 in one turn. That's beautiful. Then we're going to have eyes on Corinth. Inactive spy. You're not as needed down south, so let's push you up. Hello? Thessalonica has has a uh, problem with the plague. Let's move our diplomat towards Thrace. Two towns expanded. So 
Let's get a governor's villa in Salorna and Suggestica can also get a governor's villa. The Germans are coming. Thermon has also grown because of these enslavements. New merchant acquired Eumenes of Larissa. Come and secure our, our, our holdings in olive oil. Noble master, uh, ah, hello. Look at these, these Greeks here trying to ambush us, or waiting to ambush us. Let's get these ships to blockade Thermon, or Corinth, sorry, to make sure they can't escape. Check our building browser to make sure everyone's either building or recruiting. Keep building principes. It's a bit of a... There we go. Okay. Croton. Carry on with your navy. This is a bit of a strange... Mm, strange list I don't quite want. Suggestica. Apollonia. Salona, they can't build anything of use. Thermon, you can build some equites. Actually, you might get some war dogs. Let's hit in turn and see that sweet, sweet income. Especially as I've now spent it all. It's not going to be 16,000 now because we started off at 6. It's going to be <laughs> down to about maybe 9 or 10. Yeah, the Germans pushing has made me concerned. Our fleet, fleet blockading Corinth has been attacked, but we've sunk their ship. The sea is ours. Oh, I didn't see what uh, rewards we got from securing our Senate objective. The Britons are really doing a number in Gaul. Blockade Port Thessalonica. Yes, we shall. See if this guy can break out. Ooh, likely not. But that's why we've built this heavy hitter fleet. Let's take our Principes over to the front. Okay, Athens, you're going to recruit a ship to go and get the blockade objective. Larissa, finish the retraining. You can get an assassin. Interesting. Athens can just about retrain. Well, there's only got one more unit to retrain, but they have archers, which would be an interesting addition to my forces. I think Corinth, though, is going to be... A lot of the happiness is going to be from our garrison, so we need to be careful we don't lose the city easily. Croton. Okay, let's get the next level walls. You shouldn't be at Palisades. You do get a happiness boost from building walls, plus 5%. Apollonia. Oh, yes. So, Apollonia. First objective, ports. Get a port to get that trade. Your happiness is great, which means I'm probably now going to tax you. I mean, high tax rate. There's still 162% happiness, 4.5% growth. That's really good. Uh, let's go do the same over here. Okay, maybe just normal. And Suggestica, with my faction air all the way up here. Yeah, actually, you might stay at low. Happiness is good. Pop growth is okay. Apollonia. Just want to make sure everyone's building and everyone's everyone that needs to is recruiting. Thermon's recruiting Larissa. Athens are. Salona doesn't need to. Apollonia could, but they've not got any good units. Let's test what happens if we move these guys out of Larissa. They're unhappy. Understandable. 
But the main focus is to build up our Athens garrison. So we can push and hit Corinth, then go take Sparta. Aware of the fact that there's a... Yeah. Oh, that's a big army. Okay, spy, spy, spy. That's what we want. A spy to go and infiltrate that army and see what they've got, because it's probably pretty kick-ass. Yeah, they're giving me priorities for office, which I'm not that bothered by. Aulus Brutus has become a body slave. He created the hand pump. Or someone has, Archimedes has. Stoic philosophy written you expands Greek turncoat from Alice Brutus. And we've got a new family member Octavius. Check our family tree. God, I suck at this menu. Okay, family tree, family tree, family tree. Ah, Titus has a daughter. Ah, too bad it wasn't a son. If you don't produce an heir, the heir, the title will go to Oppius Brutus, who's not even married, but he is 18. Okay. You can't. These guys can't really do anything. I don't think there's any here. Oh yeah, retrain all those guys. Buy some archers. I've got ballistas that are interesting, but they're not great. So they've got yeah, ballistas and shiprights, but they don't have a trader or basic roads. Hmm. So who's Athens trading with? Erisothemon, Sparta, our roads. And they're trading with Thessalonica. How does that work? How do we have trade with Thessalonica? Hmm. Path blocked. Oh yeah, my diplomat. He, yeah, but I sent him in there to deliberately get to block he, to get blocked. Okay, a thousand denarii for taking Athens. Six grand in the bank, which is going to become uh, net turn incomes. <laughs> Start of turn balance. Estimated balance next turn. 830! Okay. Our trade is down. Income from our merchants. Lentilus of Croton is doing great stuff. Awaiting your command. Okay, so is it because he's got all these tasty tasty bonuses? It's bonuses to amber and incense. Can I be of service? Trading olive oil, timber, and slaves. Can I be of service? It's monopolizing gold. Does that come under Salona's trade balance? I don't know. Either way, he's doing yes. great. This guy, not so much. Maybe the smart play might be somewhere over here. Try and sit between towns, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's hit end turn. Oh yeah, you're still Spain, so we're not after anything from you. One of our spies is pushing on. You're coming down to help try and secure our olive oil resources near Athens. Brutii I are pushing on. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna I'm probably gonna need to recruit some pretty decent armies and, even more importantly, command them competently uh, in order to beat that large Greek army. Macedon. You want peace, don't you? Let us end the bloodshed. Two thousand three hundred denarii. Decline because I want time. Corinth. Don't want Thessalonica at the moment because it's all plaguey. Ooh, a small fleet near Corinth has got hit. Uh, defeated. Withdraw! 
Good. Send your family members into that plague-ridden city. But I think, looking at the timer, I'm probably going to end the episode. Oh, god damn, what a time to end the episode. Gaul has been destroyed by the British. The Britons, rather. Um, but yeah, looking at the timer, now's probably a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Brutii. Next episode, we're probably going to go for Corinth and make moves towards Athens. Not Athens, Sparta. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.